It's a big day for these baby broccoli plants. Their first time out in the elements here at Summer Creek Farm in Frederick County. And farmer Rick Hood and his crew are busy ensuring that each seedling gets a proper send-off. Today we're planting broccoli plants in the field. We're going to transplant them out with a transplanter machine and set them for the spring broccoli crop. For the past eight weeks, these fledgling veggies have led a sheltered existence, literally. We're in the greenhouse where we grow all our starter plants. We have broccoli, peppers, tomatoes, all for transplant on our farm. And all started from seed here, a system that helps extend Rick's growing season and gives him more control over conditions when his veggies are at their most vulnerable. We run about 15 to 20,000 plants through this small greenhouse in a season. So there's a lot of activity in here over just a couple month period. Finally, when the time comes, the plugs are popped and prepped for transplant, a traumatic moment in any young veggie's life. When that plant's taken from a warm greenhouse out into a cold environment and it's planted in soil where it's not cared for every day, that's a shock on it. And it deals with that shock much better if it has a strong root base to be able to reach out into the soil and grab nutrients and moisture and whatever's in the soil. To develop that root base, Rick turns to his potting mix a special organic blend made right here on the farm. Summer Creek Farm is a certified organic farm that is about 35 acres and is predominantly a wholesale seller of vegetables to organic markets. The certified organic label comes with certain limitations. We don't have necessarily the arsenal of insecticides or fertilizers to take a crop and boost it when it's weak or to fight off an insect. Those limitations even apply to the type of potting mix Rick can use to start his seeds. When we started growing our own plants, the horticultural soils that were available that were organic compliant had real issues with not being able to hold moisture very well. Not to mention that they were made using unsustainable materials like peat moss and perlite. So we decided that we were going to make our own soil. And what we found is that we could get a mix that held water better, gave us bigger roots, and was really sustainable as compared to what else is on the market. The farm's current seed starter mix is the result of years of experimentation. See for yourself. This is a tray of broccoli that we grew here at the farm. It's grown in our potting mix. The advantage of our mix is it holds moisture so well that even in a hot greenhouse like this, we only water every other day, and we get this good root growth and a nice, strong plant. The recipe begins with several key ingredients, most of which are recycled waste products. Coconut fiber, which is used to help hold moisture and replaces peat in most mixes. We use compost that adds some nutrients and some biological activity to the soil. And then we use rice hulls. They're shaped like canoes. That traps air particles, which allows the roots to grow through easier, which makes for bigger, thicker roots in the plants. Once these ingredients are combined in the correct proportions, the mix is blended, bagged, cured, and ready for the greenhouse, or for sale to farmers and gardeners across the region. Right now, we're shipping potting mix to four states. So we have it in Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, even Delaware has customers that are using our soil mixes. Rick relies on the mix to get his plants started off on the right foot, or rather, root. As for today's transplants? And they got a little bit of a slow start because it was very cold, but they have good roots on them, and they're strong enough to go out and withstand the winds and be set so that we can be cutting broccoli in early June.